Hi, brothers and sisters. So, I hope you guys are doing great and looking up and watching for Jesus and keeping your eye on Israel and everything that's happening um, with this uh, presidency campaign. Um, prophecy is being fulfilled. There's probably um, eight or ten dreams that I had last year and the year before that are pointing to now um, with civil unrest and uh, audibles, what the Lord told me, America's move, get, getting ready to move into the next phase. And at the time, I didn't understand what he meant. And now when I go back through these videos, I, I realize we are in this time right now. And we are just getting closer and closer. And I, I just do not believe that America is going to go back to the way it was. The world is, is, it's in the next phase. It's just different now. And California went back on a lockdown. All the restaurants are closed again uh, yesterday. <clears throat> the governor ordered is ordering all these things now and and now you can't sing in church and um, it's just getting worse and worse and worse um, so a couple nights ago I was you know just doing my nightly pr talking to God just praying and um, you know, because I get like, is when is this going to happen? When are we leaving? I just, uh, you know, um, when the Lord started speaking to me in early 2017 and he woke me up to these words, the tribulation is about to begin those that are watching. Um, and I sat straight up and I thought, wow, okay, you know, and then, and then he showed me all these things for the next few years. He, he's shown me so many things and I just share them here on YouTube. But when he woke me up, you know, it's just been this constant, okay, watching, watching, watching and waiting and, and, and it just gets so tiring. I mean, I love the Lord, but. Um, we just want to leave, right? We want to be with him. Um, anyway, I was talking to him and I'm like, is this, when is this happening? You know, and, and praying for my family and my friends and, and people on YouTube and prayer requests. And, and I fell asleep and I had this dream that I was at a wedding and there were a lot of people getting married. And I looked over and I saw this one couple. And they were sitting in two chairs side by side. And they were looking at each other smiling. And I knew in the dream that they were um, motorcyclists. Not, they were like, they were bikers. They weren't like Harley Davidson bikers. They were like. A couple that like to get on their motorcycles and ride together. It was something they enjoyed doing. And so instead of him having a tux and her having a wedding dress, they were dressed like um, motorcyclists, you know. Um, and the groom had like a red ribbon around his neck. And there were just little things with their attire that I knew. That they, they enjoyed riding motorcycles. And when you ride motorcycles, it's like a freeing experience. It's a relaxing time. It's it's something that you do together or in a group. And, and it's just relaxing. And um, anyway, uh, so they had just gotten married or... They were getting married. I don't know, but everybody was happy and joyful to be at this wedding. And uh, the scene changed, and I was in an airplane. 
and I was up in the air with this with this man and there was this little girl and she was wearing a white uh, kind of like a pillowcase dress I I call it a pillowcase dress and uh, which I just realized that's kind of neat because um, a pillow is something you rest your head on you're you're resting in Jesus Christ right and she's wearing it as a dress and it's white so anyway she's sitting next to this man and I'm sitting on the opposite side and we're facing each other in this airplane and there's like ple plexiglass bubbles one on the left one on the right and one down on the floor in between us and um, I perceived in the dream that there's no engine in this plane that the man is the engine he was the one that gave power to the plane and he was running the plane and I believe he represented Jesus Christ and so he's doing something I see him doing something on the side of the chair and I feel like a drop in altitude like the nose of the plane kind of dropped a little bit and I said um, I think the plane is taking an about ready to take a nosedive and he looked up at me and he said this plane isn't taking no nosedive and he did something with the controls and I looked down through the plexiglass bubble through the floor and I saw him pull up these two arms that were connected to the plane you know how wheels go up when you're taken off and they go they sit into the plane well these arms with hands came up and and sat uh, came up into the plane I could see it and all of a sudden we started taking off and shooting up and in, higher into the sky like a rocket and when I woke up I knew that the Lord was answering me and he was saying the wedding's about to happen the rapture's gonna happen you know don't don't feel like um, it's not don't let your heart be troubled about this it's gonna happen and it's gonna happen soon <clears throat> and um, the arms and the hands that were a part of the plane that were part of this man that he was the engine which I know was Jesus it made me think of there's a lot of scripture scriptures about the arms this this the saving arms of the Lord and a lot of reference to his arms bring judgment his arms bring salvation um, but here's just one, Isaiah 51, 5 through 6. My righteousness is near, my salvation is gone forth, and my arms shall judge the people. The isle shall wait upon me, and on mine arm shall they trust. Lift up your eyes to the heavens, and look upon the earth beneath, for the heavens shall vanish away like smoke, and the earth shall wax old like a garment, and they that dwell therein shall die in like manner. But my salvation shall be forever, and my righteousness shall not be abolished. But it was the first part and on mine arm shall they trust and it and there's reference scriptures in the Old Testament about his arm brings salvation and so when I look uh, you know just reflecting back in the dream because his arm it's like his arms were done it okay we're done we're done picking people up you know everybody's getting raptured we're done now we're gonna shoot up in the sky and it was just it, it felt amazing <laughs> And so when I woke up, I was like, oh, you know, Lord, I'm, I'm waiting. I'm ready. Um, you know, this world is, is, has nothing for me. There's nothing for me in this world. And uh, I know you guys feel the same way. But, you know, don't let your heart be troubled. Um, we are getting ready to leave and uh, you know I always say this tell people about Jesus tell them the gospel of their salvation and uh, you know they, they'll either receive it or they'll reject it and uh, you know all you can do is just tell them the truth of uh, how they can be saved 
how they obtain salvation by believing in Jesus Christ in his death, burial, and resurrection. And they'll believe it. They'll receive it in their hearts. They'll believe it in their hearts. Or they won't believe it. And it's nothing to be afraid of. It's just, you know, tell your family, tell your friends. Uh, let the Holy Spirit lead and guide you. Um, the Holy Spirit's been doing that a lot to me lately out in town. Um, just the other day, the man that we called to work on our car, <coughs> excuse me, the mobile mechanic, he got saved. And I prayed with him and, um, it was amazing. And I just praise the Lord. I praise Jesus, you know, that I had one more opportunity to lead someone to, to Christ. And, uh. But anyway, I hope this is, a, this is an encouragement to you, and uh, I love you guys, and keep looking up.